I can hear general chatter. Get your school holiday football fix these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April school holiday camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au. It's never too late to improve your strength, balance, well-being and independence. Our Strength for Life program encourages all older South Australians to start moving and enjoy an active lifestyle, make friends, build strength and inevitably age well. Strength for Life sessions are offered in almost 100 locations across South Australia, with new sites opening all the time. Check out the COTA SA website to find your nearest location. Strength for Life is an individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community, um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location. It's a beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life. Um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures. Yeah, I can hear that.
Hello and welcome to men's round five of the RAA MPL South Australia here at the Croatian Sports Centre between Adelaide Croatia Raiders and Adelaide City. I'm your commentator, Seb O'Neill, joined by, for the first time, Connie Kouimsis. Con, how are you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely excited to see how this one unfolds. As both sides go through their customary handshakes, we'll go through the starting lineups for both sides, starting with the home side of Adelaide Croatia Raiders. With their captain, number three, Manly Barnett, number five, Bradley Corbo, number eight, Callum Campbell, number ten, former Adelaide City player, Katsuyoshi Kimishima, number 14, Oliver Zafridis, number 18, Paul Radici, number 19, Reese Thompson, young goalkeeper, 22, Vincent Barbaro comes in, 24, Frank Busasa, number 26, Yudo Ikeda, and number 31, Stefan Mateo with head coach, Vlado Blasheka. To the black and white of Adelaide City, number four, Akok Arok, number five, Karen Stokes, Number seven, Daniel Bressan. Number 10, the captain, Nicholas Bucco. Number 12, Nicholas Francese. Number 14, Adam Pichineri. Number 21, Fergus Lynch. Number 22, Juan Gutierrez. Number 23, Jared Abatau. Number 25, Luis Laurelatanzio. And the goalkeeper, number 33, Dakota Oxenham, with head coach, Paul Pezos. On. This looks to be a, a very exciting one tonight. It does. Uh, the crowd building. We have to park back on uh, you know, Green Junction Road down there because there's a lot of people here tonight. Of course, one of two matches being played tonight in the men's MPL. Adelaide City, Adelaide United, sorry, versus Metro Stars being played. A stone's throw away at Service FM Stadium. We'll keep you up to date with the score of that one. But our main focus is here at the Croatian Sports Centre between Croatia Raiders and Adelaide City. Kickoff already underway over here. Our referees for tonight, Christian Verdicchio with assistant referees Thomas Tenby and Tyson Van Dyke to get us underway. Croatia Raiders with the kickoff. Bucco getting the ball back. Laurie Latanzio making his run straight down the middle. Having the shot, not much on it and easy to capture for the young Vincent Barbaro coming in for John Solari as of late for Croatia Raiders. Straight away, both teams into their style of play. Croatia Raiders trying to... Uh press early and get up high up the pitch but uh, Latanzio they have a very good run through the middle of the park Ball's fallen to Jared Abasau who himself tries to make a marauding one through the centre Laurie Latanzio back with the ball on the edge of the box has the shot oh. off the crossbar early oh, and then the great. save what a save Vincent Barbaro making a brilliant stop to keep Adelaide City out from scoring in the first minute Laurie Latanzio looked like a man on a mission tonight. That shot coming straight off the crossbar, falling nicely for Daniel Bressant. And Barbaro somehow managing to just get a hand to it and tip it upwards. The goalkeeper there did very well to adjust because he'd already gone to ground for the initial shot and to get up and make that save, that's a, that's a top-class save. What a start. We've had already between these two teams. Is there more to come? Corner comes in. Cleared away in the end, not too nicely, but now they get away with it, Croatia Raiders. Down the left, furthest forward. They have Frank Busasa. Busasa getting the ball now, and the finish! Another great save from Oxenham. Dakota Oxenham then comes up the goods up the other end of the pitch, and what about how fast they got up the other end of the pitch there, Sip? A lightning start here at, uh, at the Croatia Park. Quarter to come for Croatia Raiders. Zafaridis to swing this win on his left foot. You saw last week he uh, directly put one in the net, so let's see what he does tonight. Steph Mateo was coming close. Now the corner comes in. Cleared away. Throw in. Oh, 
electing to leave it for Corbo. Busasa. Kimishima. Corbo with it now. Gets it back out wide to Busasa. Another throw in. The way of Croatia Raiders. All the way back with Captain Manley Barnett. Ikeda. Out on the far side, poor touch there from Zafridis. Gives away for the city throat. Just took his eye off the ball there, Zafridis, before he picked it up and went straight under his foot. Fergus Lynch dealing with and just putting forward. Header from Abitau. Buko against Campbell, then Busasa. Busasa receives it back. Perhaps looking for the cross instead, electing to hold off on that one. I'll restart the attack through Barnett. You will notice, uh, Croatia, they, they are patient when they build the ball up. They don't just look for any pass. They try to break a line and then go from there. Just like that there. Ooh. Misplaced pass from Callum Campbell being chased down by both sides. Kimishima. Winning the throw. Back with Captain Barnett, whose brother's only playing next door for Adelaide United. Mum's over here and Dad's over there, is he? <laughs> half a game each. It's not a long walk. Probably, probably gets there in a half time. Just sit in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Thrown for City. City wanting to bounce back after that 1-0 loss to FKB Grad late on. From that goal from Jason Constantopoulos. In what was probably a side, a game, sorry, where they probably deserved more. Yeah, I did manage to speak with uh, Paul Pezos just before kickoff, and uh, City were very disappointed with conceding that goal late last week. Um, again, uh, they, they make plenty of chances, they're just not taking them. Um, so that, that game essentially was in the balance up until that stage, and Never ideal conceding an 88th minute goal, especially a former player doing it as well. Mm -hmm. Getting forward now. Croatia Raiders. Gets the shot off, but nothing too much on it. Mateo does it very well. He cuts in off the, uh, the left-hand side onto his right boot and always looking to be dangerous, whether he's going to slip someone in or have a shot. Booker, poor ball forward. Cleared by Ikeda. Both sides just losing the football in that central area. Karen Stokes with the ball wide. Laurie Latanzio. Offside. Just the wrong side of the defender there, Laurie Latanzio. Been very dangerous to start this game. Getting in good positions out wide. Barnett. Busasa. Boko manages to intercept. Now City... Try and attack forward. Poor pass. All the way back with Fergus Lynch being approached by Busasa. Abitu. Intercepted once again. Back with Dakota Oxenham. Keeping the ball in play, Adelaide City. Nicholas Booker. Looking for that wide pass. Decent idea, just couldn't pull it off that time. C 
City getting numbers behind the ball here, Seb. Making it very compact, making it hard for Raiders to play through. All the way back to Vincent Barber, who seems, for the time being, to have displaced regular goalkeeper from last season, John Solari. And you can see why with saves like that he made earlier on. As long as that ball's staying out of the net, uh, I'm sure the coaching staff will be very happy. Switch ball from Raiders. Kimishima, the former City man, looking to find his way into the box, having the shot. Ball comes in now. Cleared away by a rock. I think Zafaridis out on that left side is very dangerous. If you leave him with too much space with that left foot he's got, that cross there wasn't his best, but if you keep giving him those opportunities, he's, he's going to pick out someone in the box eventually. Karen Stokes. Lynch. Booker. Abitu. Spreading the ball wide on that right side. Buko with it again. Deflecting. Barnett clears. Touchdown by Buko and able to be kept in to be fair. A rock. Booko. Looking for Laurie Latanzio, who did make that run. Pichonero. Good challenge in there. Croatia win the three kick. Ten minutes in here. A little bit of a kick out there by Booko. I think he... I don't think he was too happy with that challenge that came in. It was a fair challenge. When you're 35 years old, you probably don't want those kind of challenges coming in. <laughs> There's a score update from a walk away. 1-0 the way of Metro Stars away to Adelaide United. Just over 10 minutes played there as well. Adelaide City look to get a goal of their own here. Booko on that right side. Pichonari. Booko. Intercepted well. Reese Thompson just getting in the way. Within a lot of space here is Callum Campbell. Intercepted by Yared Abitu. Brassant. Looking for Booko, I think, but... A lot of space in midfield at the moment for both teams, uh, especially picking the ball up through the middle. Uh, you just saw there. Unfortunately, he ran into a brick wall in uh, Yarrod Abitu there. Strong there and free kick. I think that was a bit of a payback challenge there from Nick Booker. Again, you see Raiders very patient in their build-up. City getting a little bit frustrated. They probably want to win that ball higher up the park, but they're, they're having to sit back a little bit and, and wait for them to come to them at the moment. As Like I said, very patient build-up, side to side. Raiders having their turn to just hold up with the ball.
Approaching the final third now. Unable to get any further, however. Free kick to Adelaide City. An intense first. Just over 10 minutes now already. Stokes, the former Melbourne City player. Strong challenge there. Play on, says the referee, however. Kimishima gets it out wide. Sasa still down behind play. Getting into the box. Ball comes in. Saved by Oxenham, but Busasa still feeling the afters of that challenge. Hobbling his way back up and into his own half. I might see uh, Christian Viduka have a chat here with uh, Stokes uh, when the ball's dead. Oxenham getting as further forward as he possibly can there. Missionary. Booko is closest option and will take it. Out wide left, Laurie Latanzio. Makes his way into the box. Having the shot. Another good save just to keep it out of that bottom right hand corner. Now I think Karen Stokes just getting that talking to for that challenge on Frank Pusasa. Was a very strong challenge right in front of us here. Uh, I think the touch that Stokes had put him in a bit of trouble to start with, and he had to try and win it back. But referee Vadikia thought not fair enough in his book. City with this corner. The outswinging ball delivered in. Perhaps not high enough on the edge of the box. Pichoneri! Another great save. <laughs> Leaving it to the last possible moment there was Barbaro. Pichoneri. Has Laurie Latanzio. Campbell, Corbo, Usasa, Barbaro with the ball back at his feet. Again, happy to just wait until the last possible moment to release. And we'll get it back. City have lifted, lifted the intensity in the, in the front third here. They're, they're not letting him settle on the ball as much the last couple of minutes, especially when it goes back to the keeper, put him under a bit of pressure. I think we see another... 4-3 tonight, Con, has, has had already I, the season twice. I predicted 3-1. <laughs> um, I've seen enough from City that they can create. They've just got to start finding the back of the net. And obviously last week, Raiders going up to South Adelaide scoring four goals, so they're capable. Lynch. With Busasa battling, well done. Fair enough as well. Raiders with it forward now. Paul Radich hasn't really been in the game for, for Raiders at the moment. They, they, their build-up play is good, but they're not not finding him, you know, in any space in the front third for Raiders. <laughs> he's, he's doing a few doggies from side to side trying to win the ball. I'm sure he'd love to have a few comfortable touches on the ball to get himself into the game. Just watching the battle between Nick Booker and Reese Thompson. They're having a few words exchanged with each other. Might have something to do with those earliest challenges we saw. Switch ball to the wide left. Headed only upwards. Saw Booker coming that time. Busasa needing to get past Lewis Laurie Latanzio.
just slowly getting their way into the box and able to win the corner. Speaking about former City players playing for Croatia, there's one still missing, Anthony Costa, still unable to play due to injury, hasn't been able to have any minutes in a competitive season yet here for Croatia, probably up, <laughs> upset that he can't play against his former side as well and try and score some goals. Yeah, I, I, uh, I did see Anthony before the game, um, and I think I, th I heard that he may have even re-injured his uh, injury that he had, so not good news for Raiders, because I'm sure they'd love him to be on the park. Supposed to be their captain for this year as well. Foul by Laurie Latanzio. Just a clip on the back of the heels, I think. Purely accidental, that one, just trying to get past Corbo. Corbo did well by putting his body between the ball and the player and taking the contact. It's all right when you get those challenges on a grass pitch, but probably not on the artificial. <laughs> Ball not coming to anything, a rock. Launched forward by Oxenham. Adelaide City throw. Fergus Lynch wasn't entirely sure whose throw that was going to be for a second then. <laughs> he was looking at the lines, looked at the referee. Ikeda. Turnover there from Adelaide City from Iraq. Ford now looking for Campbell, headed away. Wooko receives it back. Probably shooting the trigger a little bit too early. Thought uh, Latenjo was on his bike there, Wooko. Unfortunately, Latenjo pulled back into the middle of the park. Barbara. Still happy enough to play it from side to side, Raiders. A bit of pressure comes there from Brazan. Croatia Raiders making their way forward once again. Ball comes in Ooh. at the back post. Oxenham wasn't too sure what to do. Probably one of those things there, a goalkeeper coach and a goalkeeper hates the ball right in between whether to come or not to come. He decided to take a couple of steps and Basasa nearly stuck it at the back post there. Adelaide City with the ball in midfield. None other than Nicholas Booker, their captain. We've got some very good ball playing players in the middle of the park. You've got Booker, you've got Piscinari in there, Brezan, you've got Paddy Car Caracci on the bench. Plenty of weapons in the Adelaide City team. They've just got to try and string it together and make it count. Corbo back with Barnett. Who, just as we were saying about his brother, I think he just came off early between that game between Adelaide 
United and Metro Stars. I hope nothing too bad for him. Of course, just coming back from a very long-term injury will be devastating to see him go back out with one once again. Never ideal seeing young players with long-term injuries. Speaking of long-term injuries, um, Peter Akot, noticeable absentee for City tonight. He he's unfortunately done his ACL uh, last week, so he's he's out for the remainder of this year. Kusasa. Making his way down the wing. Ooh. Trying to find a way in. Free kick in the box for Adelaide City. Adelaide City hierarchy just below us here watching on Angelo Costanzo and President Ange Carrozza. I'm sure they'll be willing to see the, the City team get a result tonight. Opportunity to get a goal. Forthcoming now with this throw in. Corbo's adjusted really well to Latanzio's start of the game. Uh, was running past him and at the moment. He's, it's a 50-50 battle at the moment. Great crowd for Thursday night football here at the Croatian Sports Centre. And don't think this is even everyone that's here. I think there's quite a few still inside having their dinner. A few inside, but the camera's only showing us the other side. But if you if you look around us here, I reckon there's about half a dozen spare seats in the grandstand. I was going to say coming, going inside pre-game. Yellow card being given out there. Hard to see who he brandished that to then. Was it Pichonieri? We'll go with that for now. <laughs> yeah, just what I was saying as I came in pre-game, just headed inside and it was packed in there. It's pretty quiet outside, but heaps of people inside. I'm sure still quite a few inside. Now two. I think it was Pichonieri that picked that yellow card up there. Opportunity for Croatia Raiders slipping there. Callum Campbell couldn't get a clean enough strike on it. That ball just fell to the wrong side of his left foot there. If it was a little bit to the to his left side of his left foot, he would have been able to put his foot around the ball a bit better. Looks like it'll be another yellow card this time for Nick Bucco. Just a bit of spice in this one, Seb. A few challenges. Unfortunately for these players, they've got uh, Christian Vadiko in the middle and he won't stand for too much. But it's good to see these getting under control early. You don't want to get, you know, 60 minutes into the game and see these challenges not, not being punished. So a couple of players now on, their, on the yellow card and to change the way they go about it. Still with about an hour still to play here. Of the full 90. <laughs> Not sure what it is tonight. <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> There's something in it. Stokes has been in the thick of a few things so far. 
Corbo getting a bit overexcited there. Both of these sides, of course, both equal on points coming into round five. So, a little bit on it, but this early in the season, surprising to see this much <laughs> coming out of both sides. Yeah, yes and no. I guess you probably got to just go back, you know, last week City weren't happy with their performance, so they're not going to come out and be pushed around. They're actually, it's the opposite. They're actually doing all the pushing at the moment. They're struggling, like I said, they're struggling to pick that ball up off, off Raiders when they go and attack, so probably frustrating them a bit. City now. Opportunity to get away. Yarrod Abachu has Brassan in the middle and Laurie Latanzio on the left. Takes Laurie Latanzio. Has the shot. Abachu. Safely collected in the end by Barbaro. Just as I, just as I was saying, they, that's, pro <laughs> that's probably where they want to pick the ball up. Right in the middle of the park there. 3v2 advantage, that's but they couldn't make the most of it. Aperture probably could have maybe even took the shot on himself there on the edge of the box. New to Ikeda. Captain Barnett putting the ball forward. Just a bit of back and forth chat between the players and linesmen and referee at the moment. City is sort of not actually concentrating on what, what they should be doing. Buko and Corbo having a bit of a push and shove here in front of us. I think that's friendly. <laughs> well, for Buko, he, I hope so because he's on a yellow <laughs> card. Buko with the ball now, launching it forward. Francese, Brassan with the flick backwards. Buko, Pichinari. Those two players on a yellow as it stands. Laura Latanzio on the left wing, puts the ball in, clean enough for Pichinari. Still just trying to make his way through in the shot skied by Laura Latanzio. Just a bit too much on the ball there by Adam Pichinari. Lotto playing ball boy. I think Laurie Latanja shot nearly ended up back at uh, Service FM Stadium there. <laughs> so they get a new ball. Switch over a broadcast. You'll see another one bouncing into the pitch. Just clicked to me what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Barbaro, under a little bit of pressure, able to get rid. Chester down. Campbell. That's three to get past. Does really well to do so. Switch ball out wide. Slowly building their attack. Croatia Raiders. Just falling on the ball there. Know what they want to do. Laurie Latanzio. Throwing for City. Unfortunate there. Croatia Raiders need to make more of those opportunities. Still with it though, Pusasa. 
No free kick, says Christian Verdicchio. Tend to agree with that one. He, he was looking for that one there. Basasa put the ball past the two City players and then initiated the contact himself. It came up. Pichoneri did very well to win that ball back, though. Perhaps a bit unnecessary from Bressant. Giving away the free kick. The fourth City player to have a chat with Christian Verdicchio. Oxenham having to come quickly and collect. Launching high and forward. Will fall to in the path of Nicholas Bucco. City throw. Laura Latanzio receiving off Bucco. Bucco. Laura Latanzio making a good run. Still going in. It was far too easy here for Latanzio. I think Corbo just gave up as well. <laughs> couple of step overs and he <laughs> sent him for a, for a hot dog the other way again City just lacking that final that final pass and that finish lovely ball but cut out ball delivered in Barbaro easily captured Rusasa against Stokes and Lynch. Rusasa still making his way forward. Pass just lacking. Just ran out of options there. Didn't quite have Mateo on the overlap. I think he was caught behind the play. And Radich made his run offside. So in the end, he just 50 50 ball. Stefan Mateo on the left wing. Delivers the ball in. Again, only straight into Dakota Oxenham. Way too comfortable for a goalkeeper of his calibre. Laura Latanzio. Has had a de decent first half so far. Had those early opportunities. City unable to convert for themselves yet. Chasing down Busasa is Laurie Latanzio. Fish Canary with that ball over the top, I think. A couple of touches too much. The, the two players made runs into offside positions and was left with a hopeful ball. I know Latanzio is quick, but I don't think he's that quick. Latanzio spent some time with the Adelaide United Youth Academy, went over to Melbourne Victory, got a few A-League minutes over there before heading over to Canada, playing for York United and now back here in South Australia after his stint with Campbelltown now at Adelaide City for season 2024. Massive pickup for Adelaide City. Uh, the, the players that they've brought in you probably expect them to be a top two team, but just not happening for them at the moment, as we see a, another yellow card. Radic. Is indeed. Third one for the half. First one to Croatia Raiders. Joining Pichoneri and Buko in the referee's book. I actually missed that challenge, so didn't quite see what happened there. It's another score update over at Service FM Stadium. 2-0 the way of Metro Stars against Adelaide United Youth. Nearly at the halftime break there as well couple of minutes ahead over there we had a uh, delay here a couple of minute delay 
Adelaide United were hoping to bounce back after that 4-2 win against Croydon last weekend. But so far it doesn't look like that will repeat. I think only only four players come down this week. So maybe maybe the couple they've lost. I think Toure went back into the A League squad this week, so he's a big loss for them. Still with Johnny Yule and Yaya Dukuli playing in that game over there. Still some very good players. Space in midfield to run into. I think one noticeable thing from both teams is the, is the ball speed. When the, when the passes are going from side to side, they're not slow passes. They're, they're actually breaking lines, getting in good positions. But yet to see a team capitalise on any kind of good possession. Bissasa with the ball in the box. Gets to the back post, but headed away by a cut. A rock, sorry. Just keeping my eye on uh, Nick Bucco. <laughs> not, not a happy chappy at the moment. I think he felt, again, that challenge was a bit excessive for his liking. And then disappointed he didn't get the throw in. Abitu. A rock. Abitu receives that pass back. Getting forward now, Adelaide City. Still making his way forward. Now Booker. Having the shot from range, Barbaro scrambling but gets it out wide. Some some very good saves in this first 40 minutes by uh, Barbaro in goal. Can City do something with this corner now? Be Nick Booker to deliver this one. Looking for that near post as most of their corners do. As always, dangerous on those set pieces. Nicholas Bookout, their captain, their talisman, their top goal scorer from last season, delivering the ball. And he'll get a second opportunity. One thing you'll find with that, they is the consistency of their deliveries from corners. You've got Brezan swinging them the other way, Booker swinging them in from this side. And they hit that spot. They're just waiting for someone just to say, come on, put me in the net. Another corner from Bucco. Back post, punched away by Barbaro. Busasa only one forward for Raiders. Bucco couldn't get the touchdown initially, but now will have to scramble to make his way back into the box. Putting the cross in, headed away. Busasa with it. Just struggled to beat that first defender there, Bucco, that time. Foul by Laurie Latanzio. And a free kick for Croatia Raiders as we approach the halftime break. Not afraid to have a chat there, young Basasa. Both of these sides would love a goal before the halftime break. It's a game that definitely deserves one. And you say there's still many in it. I hope so. <laughs> After all these four threes, we come here and get a nil-nil. As you know, you know the guys on the podcast and us that talk about the games. There's been some talk about how many goals have gone in so far in the first four rounds, plus the cup games. I'll be disappointed if we don't see at least one or two tonight.
one game at a time, isn't it, mate? Is the motto. Throwing backwards for Barbaro. Happy to play with the ball at his feet. Ooh. Not there, Booko. Just not falling for Nick Booko at the moment. He's been he's been cleaned up in a few challenges. That there in previous years, we've seen him put that in the back of the net. Instead, he put it onto the back of the net, the goal behind the, the main pitch. Karen Stokes, the Sasa fouling. Very good defending by Stokes there. He knew the contact was coming, got himself between the player and the ball. Took the contact. Might have gone to ground a little bit easy, but he's, he's got the decision his way. Play on, says Verdicchio. Laurie Latanzio. Makes his way into the box. Cross comes in. Cleared away. Again, City finding finding that byline very easily, but just that final pass can't find another black and white stripe in the box. Good interception there from Zafridis. Into additional time here at the Croatian Sports Centre. Expect at least maybe two minutes. Been a f three yellow cards issued out. Bit of stop start. A couple of balls gone to service FM. We've had to go retrieve. <laughs> Which probably contributes to their added time. <laughs> huh. Lovely turn there on the ball. Brassan. Electing to have the shot. Booko now will take it himself. Again, just not coming off for him. Half time over at Service FM Stadium between Adelaide United Youth and Metro Stars. Looks like a half of dominance over there by Metro Stars. Ten shots to two. Too much longer left here, Seb, for this half. Entering the third minute of additional time now here. A goal before the break would change both coaches' half-time team talks. But we won't get it. Half-time here, nil-nil between Croatia Reds and Adelaide City. Quick recap of the first half, Con. If you had to say a few words. I, overall, I think Raiders' build-up play was good. It's slow. It's patient. They're not looking for that um, that ball over the top all the time. But as the half went on, um, Adelaide City, their last five minutes, created some great chances. Like I said, they just can't find that, that finishing, finishing edge in the box. So overall, not a bad half. Half-time here at the Croatian Sports Centre. As we go to a half-time break, it's Croatia Raiders nil, Adelaide City nil.
your school holiday football fix these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au It's never too late to improve your strength, balance, well-being and independence. Our Strength for Life program encourages all older South Australians to start moving and enjoy an active lifestyle, make friends, build strength and inevitably age well. Strength for Life sessions are offered in almost 100 locations across South Australia with new sites opening all the time. Check out the COTA SA website to find your nearest location. Strength for Life is a individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community, um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location the beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures. Welcome to Adelaide City Park for round four of the men's REA MPL South Australia. Tonight here between FK Beograd and Adelaide City. With refereeing staff Lean Miller, Dion Turner and Paula Orlandi. I'm your commentator, Seb O'Neill, joined by... David Grant. David, lovely to see you again for another week. It will be Craig Shearer to get us underway, fresh off that hat trick in the Australia Cup. Had that game against Parry Hills East, the amateur side, where he came into the starting 11. And trying to put the ball into the centre. Craig Shearer on the edge of the box. And I'll tell you what, he has a strike on him. Good ball for Bucco. Still working out for Beergrad. Just slowly building, yep. That looks a lot more dangerous than it actually was, I think. <laughs> it looked like it was curling to the top corner. Ball coming in. 
Perfect spot, bad luck. Laurie Latanzio at the back, I think. Piece of a caught, makes his way off here in front of us. Obviously an injury. Good stop by Erickson Hammond. He's held it as well, didn't just palm it aside, so that's a confident goalkeeping, isn't it? Delivered low, cleared away. Yeah, I think it's Anthony Trimpoli that's cleared that way for FK Beograd, but... Um, Nice piece of work by Nick Buchel down the left to get that cross in. Building up on the left-hand side into the penalty box. Goal might come. Nothing heated as the ball over the top for Adelaide City. Touched on. Could this be the one? <laughs> so frustrating. FK Biograd. Ivanic in the centre. Could this be the winner? Brilliant save. Oh, what a stop by Oxenham. What a save. Everybody hit the ball with the outside of your foot. See what happens. Oh, Opportunity here. It. He's onside. Just has to finish. And he does so. Is that the winner? Coming from Casey Cobb Standopolis against his former side. <laughs> honey, honey, honey. Money, money. Can't believe it. It's Fergus Lynch Fergus with Lynch, this one. Yeah. Then Battistella. Brisson! Oh, what a stop! Kavanagh makes some ends for his earlier slices, and he's. What a stop! He's kept it. Oh! I think Kavanagh had that covered. We have had a goal, we have had a few injuries, haven't we? But um, there it goes now. Full time! At Adelaide City Park, 1 0 the way of FKP. Got a hard fought game and a hard fought win for the away side. Get your school holiday football fix these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au And the future is orange for Stanford. Flinders are in the lead. Rachel Quigley. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Coming to 2023 20, Premiers. Saved by Pomley. They had to go the distance and then some. Well, a late Lily Barber goal meant that NTC got the better of Salisbury into in the round one rematch of last year's grand finalists. The teams, first for NTC, Mary Dalpiaz in goal. The back four is Nicola Krantis, Anastasia Simic, Hayley Wellington and Annalise Simpson. And Anastasia Willoughby for Flinders United. That's well taken, Wellington. Straight at Molino. Oh, Bayford's gone in. Oh, dear. It's a goal for Grayson Blischke. Just the absolute last type of goal you'd want to concede. Sorry, it was uh, Nicholas. Now here's Hudson Turner. Oh. Molino had to have a couple of goes at that. Hudson Turner. That's good. Barber! A bit further out than Hudson Turner to Simic. Simic goes for goal. Whew. Molino had to parry in the end. 
Now, can Denton get onto this? Sarah Denton takes the shot and scores the goal! Sarah Denton equalises for Flinders United! What a fantastic strike! And what a way to bring your team level! She might fancy a shot from there. No, she plays it down. Now, opportunity for Vega. Another opportunity to get the ball in, though. Over the bar. Goal kick. Will it be taken? It's a good delivery. Barber! Great save, Molino. To go, and it's now with Cardell. Wellington was in the way. Denton. And a chance. Oh, terrific save from Dalpiaz. That was a pretty good hit from Bethany Bill. Pointing in different directions. It's over Dalpiaz, and it's been headed in! Flinders United are in the lead! But it's 2-1 here. Simic! Hits the bar! Bayford gets it away. Bayford again in the way. It's full time! Flinders United get an epic win here at Fl Service FM Stadium. They've come from behind to beat NTC by two goals to one. What a tremendous performance! Get your school holiday football fixed these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au.
Welcome back to round five of the men's RAA MPL South Australia. Nil-nil at halftime here at the Croatian Sports Centre between Adelaide Croatia Raiders and Adelaide City. I'm your commentator for this game, Seb O'Neill and Connie Kamitsis. What should we expect from the second half? I, I really think this half will be very similar to the first half. Um, both teams are setting their ways in how they want to play. You see here Raiders straight away and stepping straight up with their, with their press. So hopefully we'll see some goals. But I, yeah, I think it will be play out the, similar to the first half. Second half also commenced over at Service FM Stadium. 2-0 the way of Metro at the halftime break over there. Lovely ball through for Raiders. Way forward. Busasa. And the early finish from the 18-year-old. Had a great first half. And now's capped it off with the first goal for Croatia Raiders. That took all of 35 seconds. Probably not what Paul Pezos wanted. And almost similar to the first half in the way that City had <laughs> had those two opportunities earlier on as well in that first half, except the Croatia just managed to put it away this time. Even that there was, you know, it took a deflection but it's gone in the back of the net, whereas in the first half, chance after chance, City couldn't do that. No so thanks to Barbaro and the goal, though. Maybe my half-time prediction is out the window already. <laughs> City now having to fight back, 1-0 down. Of course, finished that way last week against FK Beograd at City Park. But still have 45 minutes in front of them to make amends. I wonder how long Pezos waits to make a change, given that it didn't quite happen in the first half and, you know, 35 seconds into the second half, they're 1-0 down. City, looking to get that equaliser now. Pichinari. On a booking from the first half as well. I was just about to say that that will come into, into play at some stage. you got Easy three players. There. And another booking for City this way of Yared Abachow. So you've got your defensive midfielder and your two attacking midfielders now on yellow cards. Again. Got Paddy Karachi on the bench. A live wire. Alex Battistella. Battistella, two. young fella, yep. Free kick for, for Croatia Raiders. Launch forward in the direction of Frank Busasa. They're now singular goal scorer for this one. Scored a screamer as well in that 4-3 loss against Metro Stars a couple weeks back as well. This one, perhaps not as nice on the eye, but still counts. I think you'll find at the end of 90 minutes it's still going to say uh, a goal to his name, and that's all that will matter, if, especially if they get the result from it. Stokes. A couple of wayward passes here by City. Pichinari. Gutierrez going back to a rock. Poor pass. Straight into the path of his former player. Cheap turnover, cheap foul. That don't free kick not working out as well as they would have nice. Don't think that was quite, quite necessary from Raiders there. No need to rush the game now. You're 1-0 up. Somewhat in control. 
But a nice spot for a free kick. And you'd imagine there's only one man for the job from that range in that angle. Yeah, I don't think there'll be too many other people, maybe. <laughs> Pishkinary might sniff around here, but I think we all know who's going to end up hitting this one. Safe to say we've seen these fly into the back of the net before. We could do again. Yeah, Pishkinary, he knows he's, he's walked away. <laughs> he knows there's only one man for the job here. Nick Booker on the free kick. Their captain, their talisman, and nearly their goal scorer. Hang on, has it? Uh, nearly. <laughs> After his first half heroics, he's nearly uh, dropped the ball into the net, and there has goalkeeper Barbaro. But to be fair to Nick Booker, a very well-placed free kick right in the top corner. It, it was. Probably just didn't have enough on it to beat him. But I guess with a, you know, a free kick in that area, all, all you can ask for is to get it on target, make the goalkeeper work. You saw he nearly, he nearly fumbled it, so... City midfield are still jumping into challenges, especially the ones on yellow cards. I'm sure the last thing Pezos wants to see is a, a red card brandished to one of his holding midfielders. Kimishima falling on the ball but still going forward with it. Mateo back to Kimishima. Zafridis. Lovely pass from Mateo. Still with it, Croatia Raiders. Still looking for the opportunity to have the shot. Basasa headed away for the corner. Just look at, looking a little bit more dangerous in attack here. Uh, Adelaide Croatia Raiders. Corner to be delivered in. Looks to be in swinging. Delivered low. And not well enough to get any opportunity in for Croatia Raiders. Not the best delivery into the box that we've seen tonight. Lovely touch from Kimishima. Stops it dead. Abitu. Not sure if it's the state of the game, but the, the City midfielders look to be out on their feet a little bit. Kimishima there's dropped in behind twice now and in, in space. Brassan. Barbaro easily collected. Intercepted by Buko. Buko still there. Has the strike first time. Another lovely touch from Kimishima. Cheeky little back heel there from Kimishima as well. Callum Campbell getting forward now. Out wide to Stefan Mateo on the left wing. Campbell puts the ball in. Went out before he could, though. Just that extra touch on the ball. Probably didn't need to. He was already a yard from the byline, but far too easy by Croatia getting in behind there. Bit of a tactic here. Slowing the game down. Trying to get it on their tempo here, City. Hey, 
Kimishima. Campbell. On the edge of the box now, has the shot. Just not winning those second balls in midfield, Adelaide City. Raiders picking it up, coming straight back down. It's very rolls of reverse. This is what we saw at the end of the first half with City. They were picking those balls up, running at the Croatian defenders. It's very much the opposite way at the moment. Again, they just want it so much more here, Raiders. Pasasa is looking for the through ball there. Mateo. Again, ball not quality enough. Running forward is Fergus Lynch. Pishinari. Well cut out there. The battle for the ball there between both sets of players. Some challenges starting to fly in. Raiders desperate defending. They want to protect this one goal lead. They'd hate to concede something that isn't world class or a one to strike by Booker. They wouldn't want to concede anything that's sloppy. See some action on that Adelaide City bench as we uh, look across the pitch, Seb. Ball put forward is on site. Goal kick. Solid defending again by Croatia Raiders. Laurie Latanzio had a good first half. Press on. Perhaps just rushing it slightly. I think uh, Booker was looking for a little wall pass inside there, but not too happy with the end product from Brezan. Campbell looks for Basasa on the wing. Basasa gets to it. Chasing down to the byline. Basasa on the left foot. It's been a handful. Basasa on the right hand side. Not only with his with his foot skills, but with his, his mouth. <laughs> He's done a decent job of winding up. Some of the older city players. Not naming names. <laughs> Sometimes when you're a young kid and you're just on the scene, you can run your mouth. I'm sure people won't mind that, but he's actually backed it up. He's, he's got on the score sheet. Uh, he's he's run of the game. defenders. He's, he's, he's played very well. For an 18-year-old, for an he's done very well. Looks like Paddy Carriage here warming up, loosening up on that far side. Kimishima able to keep that one in. Booker gets away with it. Free kick to Croatia Raiders. He's Booker for a dive there, has he? He's not, sorry, not Booker. Book he, he's, he he's pinged him for a, for a dive. I mean, it was minimal contact, but strange. And probably quite lucky that he didn't pull another yellow card out. Otherwise, it would be in the end of Booker's night. The 
Basasa chasing down Karen Stokes. Basasa maybe even winning. I think that was Radich over there, Sip. Yeah, my apologies. <laughs> Just so used to seeing uh, Basasa exactly. run up and down that wing tonight. A rock. Good ball forward. Brassan or Gutierrez to be on it. Brassan with it. Putting the ball in. Laurie Latanzio getting the connection, but not towards the face of goal. Strangely enough, from, from, from that kind of position, that's as close as City's come tonight. It's the first time they've actually gotten on the end of a cross. It, all but it's gone over the bar. But it's the first time they've made contact from a cross. So they're getting, they're getting closer. Can they deliver the final product? Mateo just applying the pressure. Now oh. Radich. Mistake from Oxenham. Has to chase against him. Should have done better, I think. I think Radich has to hit that there. He had options too. He, he did. He had Basasa running into the box. Mateo at the back post. Wasted opportunity for if Raiders City, to go two up. If City score now, Gutierrez let off the hook. I don't know what was going through Oxenham's, Oxenham's uh, mind there. He tried to play that ball across the park with the outside of his right foot straight to Radich. Substitution for Adelaide City coming on Paddy Caraccia in place of the yellow carded Adam Pishinari. First change of the night. In front of what is a great crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. See people with their food, their milkshakes, their hot chips. Making us very hungry, that's yes. for sure. <laughs> I guess this little, this little sh for the people that are listening, this shelter we've got in here, if we were at uh, Apex, we'd be s <laughs> smelling the, the food from almost for just our, behind us. Almost for our own good that we're, that we're inside. <laughs> As well, we'd just be smelling all the food coming out from the kitchen. Not that it's a bad thing. No, it's distracting though. <laughs> Ford now. Ball comes in. Turn on the ball by Callum Campbell. Couldn't be completed. Bressant takes over. A rock. Interesting to see what sort of role uh, Paddy Karachia plays here. He, in the past, he he plays that freelance role. Coaches normally let him work his thing. In the middle of the park, he gets him behind. He just, he just buzzes about. And that's probably what you want from your substitutes too, coming off the bench. You want them to get involved in the game. You don't want them to come on and not be involved in, uh, you know, especially a player like his quality. You want him to be on the ball. You want him to be making forward runs. Juan Gutierrez. The Argentinian with the throw in. For Adelaide City. I think Paul Radich's night's done there. In place coming on is Oliver Trimboli. Goal scorer from last week. Be looking to repeat that dose, I'm sure. That would be the message. Go on. Take your chances when they come. Very good pedigree in the name. As we all know.
hearing those instructions loud and clear, I think. A stern word from uh, referee Vadikio there. We can hear them pretty clearly as well. Very clear. Young Franchisi there. In my opinion, I, I that there blatant time wasting, blatantly didn't have to, he didn't have to touch the ball. He probably escaped a booking. Busasa. Kimishima. Hassan couldn't stick the pass. Another change for Adelaide City. Nicholas Francese coming off. For I think is number 48, Anthony Yule. A lot of youth left on the bench for Adelaide City. Whether or not they they get used, maybe young Battistella. Could see him coming possibly, on definitely. If it stays this way. Came off the bench last week against FK Beograd, unable to make the impact that he might have wanted to. Barbaro playing across the face of goal. Done well to get out of it, Croatia Raiders. Now losing the ball in possession to City. Just flat-footed there was Corbo on the far side. He didn't come to the ball, let it come to him and got away from him in the end. Dakota Oxenham. Another score update over at Service FM Stadium. 3-0 the way of Metro Stars in the second half. Strong performance from them against Adelaide United Youth. Somewhat surprising result after what the youth team did to Croydon last week. Booko. Back with it now. Has Gutierrez on the right. Still with the ball though. Buko gets it to Gutierrez eventually. Looks like a free kick here for Metro Stars in, in Buko territory. <laughs> Chance to go 4 0 up, Seb. Buko. Brassan. Yule. Lunging to get the ball back. Abertau. Putting the ball in. Probably not the kind of ball Buko was looking for there. He hasn't really had much service tonight when he's in the box. And you've, you've found as the game's gone on, he's actually dropped further and further back to pick the ball up and get involved. I'm sure the City fans would be as we see another goal go in at Service FM Stadium. Stadium. That free kick you're talking about went directly in, I'm pretty sure. So 4-0 up, our Metro Stars now against Adelaide United. Hamish Gow. As we know, he can hit a can hit a free kick. So that would have been my guess anyway if I didn't know who it was. <laughs> Got sidetracked there. I completely forgot about the game for a second. We were, <laughs> we were commentating, mate. Stefan Matteo looking to create the second for Croatia Raiders. Kimishima.
Ball comes in. Trimboli nearly on, on the end of that one there. I think uh, with 20 minutes to go, I think a second goal here for Raiders could well and truly put the game into game management mode where they maybe just... Adelaide City as well, looking, sorry, putting to put their youth on show with Alex Battistella getting ready to come on. Still looking for the equaliser. Wonder who comes off here for City. Is it going to be a wide player in Latanzio or is it a midfielder in Brezan? Here's that change now. Looks like... Looks like... Oh. Very, a very big move by Paul Pezos here, Seb. Nick Bucco to come off that other City player also on the yellow card. And in fairness, hasn't really been a night for Nick Bucco. As we mentioned earlier, he was he was rattled early with a big challenge in the first half. He then got booked for a challenge himself. Maybe lucky to not get booked a second time as well. Yep. Maybe Paul Pezos sensing that the longer the game goes on, it stays like this. It could be a chance that he does get that second yellow card. So great ball there by <laughs> Zafaridis. Plenty of power in it too. So, young Alex Battistella to take place of Nick Bucco. Big boots to fill. I think that's very self-explanatory, isn't it? You, you come on for someone like Nick Bucco and you're a young kid like Battistella. Good to see the kids getting their chance, though, amongst what is a very strong Adelaide City squad. You know they were forced into two changes tonight. Oh, Stefan Matteo. As Matteo just waltzes into the box again. That was brilliant from Stefan Matteo. Sorry to interrupt no, you. No, that's all right. That, 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 little, that little piece of play there by Stefan Matteo is well worth the interruption, Seb. Don't worry about me. Corner to come. Just completely left Gutierrez behind there with a little back heel flick down the down the line and off he went into the box. Another in swinging corner for Adelaide City for the Croatia Raiders. Sorry, punched away initially by Oxenham. Not too cleanly, however. Ooh. Oh, just taking it off him. Zafaridis had the uh, had the shotgun ready to go then. Campbell with the ball in. Oxenham collects. Takes his time. Although City running out of it to get the equaliser. Could be headed similar to last week here for City as they push to get an equaliser tonight where they push numbers forward leaving the, the players at the back exposed and Croatia then can counter-attack quickly if they uh, feel the need or they can slow the game up. They're 1-0 up, so they're going to be in control of the pace for the next 15, 20 minutes. Fergus Lynch making his way through from the back. Claims of a handball. Battistella. A bit stagnant there from the city front four, which they've got at the moment. They're all trying to come in and create, but then there's no forward runs at the moment. I think that's where they'll look to Paddy Karachia to do that in the next 15 minutes. Lo 
Laura Latanzio unable to get. But they'll get the throw in. Haven't seen much of him since the first 10, 15 minutes where he really electrified the, the left-hand side. He's, he's not had the same impact since then. But has the quality to turn a game. Yule having the shot. Decent opportunity in these final 15 minutes for Adelaide City. But they'll be needing to get one back sooner rather than later. My memory serves me correctly. I reckon that's their first shot on target since the first, first half. Ball comes in. Still with a second opportunity to have the shot. Oh. Look decent from our angle, but going wide in the end. Don't think Dakota knew too much about that one. He had a look over his left shoulder and the ball's nearly crept in at the, at the near post. Again, that hustle from Basasa on the far side. Just causing headaches for, for City in their defence. Ball over the top looking for Alex Battistella. Gutierrez. Battistella. Brassan. Caraccia. Hasn't quite had the impact that Paul Pezos would have liked off the bench. Paddy Caraccia there. We know what he's capable of. Especially in his Croydon FC days, he was very dangerous. He's won best and fairest. Yet to see that here in the black and white stripes, though. Has had to bide his time on the bench so far, though, for Adelaide City. He, he's, as I mentioned to you earlier on, he's the kind of player that probably doesn't like coming off the bench, but like you said, he's had to bide his time. He's won a free kick here in a dangerous position. No Nick Booker this time around, or Pichonari. Yes, you, you're right, Seb. This now probably becomes a Daniel Brezan delivery into the box. They've got big, big Yule on now. Fairly imposing figure to aim for in the box. Let's see how this free kick turns out for Adelaide City. Just over 10 minutes left. Needing the equaliser. Direct from the free kick. It's taken a touch on the way past. Maybe that's what's kept it out of the net. The slightest touch off the wall. The type of game this is, is it's going to need to be a very, very good goal to beat uh, Barbara after what we've seen from him tonight. Corner coming in, in swing at the back post, unable to get on target. Looks like a double change for Adelaide Croatia Raiders coming on. I think it's Frank Busasa taking his leave. Well earned. And Katsuyoshi Kimishima coming off as well. Also had a pretty decent game. Could see some game management come into play here for for Raiders with these changes. One of 
his substitutes. Matthew Majic coming on in what, it, in what is his 13th year at Croatia Raiders. Booking Brandish by Christian Verdicchio. I think there was Laurie Latanzo picking that one up there for quite a cynical challenge. As soon as he did it, he put his head down and just walked away. Knew what was coming from, from the referee there. that wide. No Basasa this time around for Croatia Raiders on it though. City into single digits of time left. Not including the additional. Yule. Just not happening for City at the moment. They've reverted now to that, that long straight ball. They've got Yule up there. Croatia Raiders building from the wing. Goal kick. Not quite the same output as what Basasa was giving him. Still finding a way to get into the box, though. Brassan. Karachia looking for Alex Battistella. Cleared away by Ikeda. Might look to go all the way back to Dakota Oxenham. Fergus Lynch fouling the substitute James Odom order. Score of the winning goal in the grand final last year. Maybe the equaliser. One of the two. I can't remember exactly. Actually, now going back to it. He scored a goal in the grand final. We'll end at that. But it was a pretty important one for memory. I'm sure if he scores another one tonight, it'll be just as important and wrap the points up for Croatia here. Not if Adelaide City get their equaliser. Ball just evading Laurie Latanzio. Still with it, though. Not the greatest ball across the box there by Laurie Latanzio. Battistella. Great touch there by Gutierrez, though. We'll get a corner, though. It's probably... The sort of thing they'll want at this stage late on. Any sort of way to just get balls into the box. You'd think with, you know, just over just over five minutes remaining plus stoppage time. It's gonna become desperate times and balls will get put in the box. They gotta be better than that though. Gutierrez City still with it, Batistella. Gutierrez just putting high into the box. Think a foul. 
Yeah, referee Vidicu has picked something out there. Couldn't quite see who infringed. I think it was possibly Yule. And a waste opportunity from the corner there. Yeah, trailing the game. You, you want better delivery from a corner than what was put into the box there. And then the secondary ball as well. Just a nothing ball into the keeper's arms. Ballastella. Gutierrez. A rock. Stokes. Former Melbourne City man himself. Abitu putting the ball in. Another wasteful ball by Jared Abitu there. Stays in, however, for City. Every time you look at the clock, you see those minutes winding down and time running out for Adelaide City. And nothing just seems to be working for them so far. Raiders, are, sorry, you said Raiders have become very, very compact now. Forcing City to do things that they don't want to do, which is balls into the box that are, you know, from players like you got your centre half putting balls in the box. I'm sure that rather get it out wide and get the balls to come in from that position but like I said Raiders very compact very disciplined making it very very hard for City to find an equaliser here Yule on the right wing has Gutierrez. Takes Batacella though in a bit of space himself. Decides not to use his left foot. Abishu. Brassan. Again, well done by Croatia Raiders there. Forcing City sideways and backwards. As those seconds just continue to roll off the clock. Adelaide City fell last week to a late goal in the 88th minute. How they would love to have one for themselves now. Wasteful there. Ball comes in. Yule turns. Commits the foul in the process, though. Ooh, hands in the back there. I think that's a free kick in, uh, in most sports. Can't just put the two hands in the back and <laughs> shove your opponent out the way. Lynch. Poor pass. <laughs> Crowd not too happy with referee of a <laughs> decision to give Mateo a yellow card there for slapping the ball out of uh, the hands of Adelaide City. 
words we probably can't repeat. Late substitute for Croatia Raiders as we enter additional time here. I think it'll be Stefan Mateo. Looks like he's making his way off the pitch. Well, he might want to move a little bit quicker just so he doesn't pick up two yellow cards in quick concession here. Fred Sunday, the number 20 to come on. Pushing the boundaries here, Mateo. As he just slowly walked off the pitch. I'm sure Vidika will add it all on. Saw three and a half minutes in the first half stoppage. The second half's been a little bit more tame. How long does City have to find an equaliser, Seb? Already into the second minute of additional time. Fediccio with the whistle to his mouth. Croatia fans finding their voice as we near the end of this one. Sure, once that uh, whistle blows, we'll hear them all again celebrating as you would. Beaten a, a, a depleted city team, but they did have injuries of their own. They had Jai King out tonight who was injured in the middle of the park, so they've can't say they've missed him because they're seconds away from a victory, Seb. Battistella, ball across the face of goal! And what's Oxenham going to do here? He's got his clear forward. Plays it right into the path. Is one on one with Oxenham. Unselfishly. And Oliver Trimboli gets the winner for Croatia Raiders. Mistake from Oxenham. Gives them the win. Brilliantly unselfish from James Odom Walder. As mentioned earlier, Seb, Trimboli off the bench again. Another goal, two in two weeks. But that that mistake by Dakota Oxenham there. He it, probably should just clean. He <laughs> just, just put it forward. Wasn't so lucky this time. The first time round, Paul Radich couldn't capitalise this time. Not so lucky. You, you just can't do that, especially when you've got nifty, nifty little players at your feet and it all but wraps this one up <laughs> as the city fans they were just sitting beside us here three four five rows of them have seen enough city has enough time to take the kick off but i can't imagine there'd be much more left oh that's very dangerous, that. Stokes, was it? That's... You don't want to see that as a spectator, a coach, the play. You don't want to see that. That was... I'm trying to find a word for that, but that, was, that could have been very, very dangerous by Stokes there. anything it benefits Croatia Raiders now can just waste time perhaps Adelaide City falling into that trap there of just getting in a bit of a kerfuffle we've seen it from, from the very first few minutes Croatia got under City's skin like we've mentioned a few times Nick Buko got under his skin uh, Stokes 
earlier in the game. Probably lucky to escape a, a yellow earlier in the game. So, We still play here in the sixth minute of additional time. I think both sets of teams would be happy to see the, the back of this one. More so Adelaide City. And there's the whistle full time here at the Croatian Sports Centre. 2-0. The way of the home side courtesy of Frank Busasa and Oli Trimboli coming off the bench. And a second loss on the trot for Adelaide City. Not ideal. A, a loss last week at home. A loss this week here at Croatia. Ha, qu quite hard to see where City can get their goals from at the moment. They, they're, they're getting in good positions, but there's just no no one in the box to finish. As you see them walk off the off the ground, very dejected here. I think they're copying it from the Croatia fans to our left here Seb I think uh, we may see this boil over which we, we don't want to see that so hopefully someone can get control of it but let's go to Croatia they second half scored in 35 seconds into the into the second half scored in the last 30 seconds and probably based on on the game, City's first half was good. Raiders' second half was good. As a neutral, you'd probably say, yeah, maybe a draw, but Raiders were just, just good enough on the night. That wraps it up here at the Croatian Sports Centre. Thank you so much for joining us here, Con. Thank you for joining me on this nice night. No worries. Thank you for having me on tonight for the first time and made me more than welcome, so thanks, mate. Absolutely. Have a great long weekend. Happy Easter. Enjoy it and enjoy the football.